when I start seeing the, the exterior of what Hendrik created the first time, I saw that the form, the tension, the sheet metal he created is the dynamic of, of a running cheetah, you know, which has a long arch uh, at, at the front with, where the animal almost bends and then has the hip at the end, but also has certain edges in there which reminded me on, on sand dunes and, you know, when the wind goes over, it forms a different type of shape. Having those shoulders out there, that's something that says power, it says stance, it says stability. It, it's a car that looks like it's in motion, even when it's not in motion. What was important for me too was really that every single line on the car had a purpose. As bold as the design is, it also has a lot of restraint. You don't see these typical features that say power, like diffusers and spoilers and things. The strongest element is the dramatic proportions. It's a very low car, but the car is also very wide. The fairly long hood, the low wide stance is a significant design for Fisk Automotive. This crisscrossing lines with a diamond shape was so strong, I haven't seen that. That inspired me to integrate that into the interior development. The tunnel comes very high up, so you really feel sitting in the car how you want it to sit, like in a sports car. And then the lines are flowing around you and just give you a hint of the form which has gone on in the outside. And then the rest approach was keeping it calm, keeping it pure. When you look at the instrument panel and you look at the door and you look at the center console and you look at the seat, the way we designed it is we opened up the natural markings so that you could feel what nature created, what nature designed. When you look at nature for these types of solutions, you understand that's really the definition of timeless beauty. The wood does not have a high gloss lacquer covering it. When you touch the wood, you can actually feel the texture of the wood. Leather in an organic form with stitches metal in a shape that it doesn't look like, you know, you can do in plastic and then you just chrome it how a welder would build a metal frame around a glass or a, a mirror. It's an overall feeling when you get in the car that you know that there's something that feels handcrafted, delicately done, unique. This car is probably the first car in many, many years that actually came on the street exactly for how it was supposed to be from the dream. And that's really the complete opposite of how we design cars today. Normally today, Engineers make something that's fairly easy to make and then the designers have to wrap it up. We're never going to make a clumsy, awkward looking car just to package an extra person or to get a bigger suitcase in. And that's really a different way of designing a car. We've kind of gone back to designing vehicles how they originally were designed. Create a beautiful vehicle and then have the engineers work really, really hard to make it happen.